Cromwell's most prosperous son, Arthur Conthwaite, will not be seen at church over the next few weeks. Mr. Conthwaite has apparently left the area for a time, possibly for a vacation, or in relation to his studies. I know we're not meant to be up here by the hall, but we was up here, and the game moved up here, and the gates was open. And what was the game, boy? What was the game? Do you remember the calendar that we saw? It was February, yes? My God, they were here for months. If he's dead, we'll need proof. So it's not a case of knocking on the door. Obviously, any idiot could do that. Any idiot could knock on the door, but you are sub-idiot and therefore could not. <laughs> we're the people who have just agreed to pay you nearly $300 each. Clearly, there was insanity here. There are burned bodies over there. We have seen mutation in the animals. So we have a duty to find out the root cause to prevent it happening again. And you get to the doorway of the Green Acres Simon. You suddenly see a sort of dancing light over to the north wing, bouncing around just outside and then sort of hurrying towards you. I want to sort of leapfrog over and go, get out of my way, crazy! <laughs> I love the company of a man who can talk about a church tower. Captain Trepanov is a very loyal servant to the telegraph union. He really cares about people's ability to communicate. So it will be a pain to him if he has to strangle you. All right, who's got the biggest weapon? I have a uh, Zweihander as well. I hold it between my two very large hands and I look her in the eye and I say... Off you fuck, prick Craig. I'll, I'll be right behind you. <laughs> Don't talk to me like that, man. You're crazy. Well, I'm, I know I'm not insane because it would say it on the sheet if I was. So we cut back to the library. If this book doesn't sell, it's curtains. It's curtains for both of us. <laughs> There's no need for the police. I couldn't help it over here. Ah, oh, yes, American humour. There is a bus that goes to uh, Innsmouth, I think, but it's... Uh, uh, it's not regular. Hmm. What is that? It's the best vindaloo in Eastbourne. Once it's passed through my ex-wife. Like a thousand fish go up your nose. Well, that's a possibility, but it's none of my business. You're right. That ain't none of your business. You lose a point of sanity. Your muscles spasm. And you fire. <laughs> 